Man, what a buck. This is the first time I've seen this deer, and this is incredible. I can't believe the mass. Look at the bases. Just a solid, clean 10 pointer. Welcome to Monster Buck Fall. This week, we're going to take a look at a buck taken by Chris Williams up on Realtree Farms in October with a muzzleloader. I'm very impressed right off the bat by the mass of this deer. I can't wait to put a tape on this deer. Let's see what happens. Anytime you get a buck, a whitetail with over five inches of mass at the base, that's, that's a big deer. Almost four inches there. These beams curl up in the front, wow. See, something where this deer really excels, this right main beam on this deer is almost 23 inches. That's a stud. You're gonna take a look at this G2 and you're gonna be surprised. It's almost nine inches. This brow tine here, six and a half inches. Inside spread on this deer, 15 inches. So this buck, who's not very wide, has incredible mass, longer beams than you think, longer G4s than you think, big brows. Overall, what an incredible Georgia deer. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready? What do you think about that? Holy cow! I did not realize that deer was that big. This deer ends up scoring 156 and 28. Join us again next week on Real Trees Monster Buck Vault and comment below on what you think this really wide South Texas buck scores.